Hello everybody, welcome to UKPM Survival and Outdoors here on YouTube and this video is one of three about security awareness, the first video being home security. Stay tuned. So here we are and in the first video I will be discussing home security. Now I'm certainly not saying that if you're unemployed or you haven't managed to buy something in a supermarket that you're suddenly going to go and rob a house. You know I'm not saying that at all but I think we've got to be realistic. As situations increase and you know situations become desperate people themselves will become desperate. That is history and if we follow in history that could happen. All right. So I don't want people worrying. Um, when they're watching this video as the fact that they're suddenly going to get robbed but I think we just need to re really maybe look at the security that you have in place okay so I have some notes with me um, you know I'm not getting any younger um, and we're going to crack straight on these are just ideas okay that you might want to do opportunity theft from houses okay um, you will probably find the majority will happen to properties which are abandoned okay they haven't got anybody there um, we may be talking about business properties, we may be talking about domestic properties, okay? So for example, businesses have now closed, you know, multiple businesses have now been required to shut. There was possibility there for opportunist theft. Maybe they're going to come after houses for the simple reason that most businesses now will have CCTV installed as a matter of course. They'll be in a town centre which itself has CCTV. Um, domestic properties maybe don't, all right? Abandoned properties, Maybe, I would say possibly first houses that may be up for sale or up to let, they are going to have certain articles, okay, which may become, you know, attractive to a, you know, a thief, all right. Unfortunately, um, a house which um, could be conceived as abandoned might be just one that doesn't have anybody in there at that time that opportunist thief called, all right. So this is why it's worthwhile making sure that your security arrangements are up to standard okay um, but without going overboard I think it's worth mentioning we don't want to have Fort Knox on, on our streets we don't want to have people you know putting barbed wire up on the fences you know trying to keep out you know the neighbours because I think that stage is a way 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 down the trot okay I think if we build ourselves up as a community then that might improve things okay so you know everyone coming together and making the street desirable will put off outsiders coming in causing problems and some you know streets are what are called gated communities where you know there is a certain level of that already but there's no reason why that can't be you know moved into you know common streets and uh, you know roads I guess you know within you know that sort of neighborhood okay um, so for example um, desirability houses which look abandoned or are abandoned we're going to become you know the first target okay so making sure that things like um, your lawns are cut your hedges are cut it might seem really obvious but making your property look like you know it, it is lived in might put people off more than if you leave it to go to rack and ruin okay and I know money worries yeah but at the end of the day most people will have lawnmowers and shears and cutters to do these sorts of jobs, okay? And they'll have the time because they'll obviously be here. So it's worthwhile, you know, doing that sort of thing, all right? Um, word of advice, um, elderly people, you know, there might be elderly people in your street, there might be an elderly neighbour, offer to do that, you know. Um, you know, they might not be able to get out and do that. So, you know, it's worthwhile just, again, this community thing, try and come out and help somebody else, okay? And, you know, all stick together and hopefully it'll all be good, all right? Um, as well as the maintenance of the property, making sure that the, you know, litter is, that's dropped outside the property, even if it's on the pavement outside, just pick it up and put it in the bin, you know? If everyone does that, then the street's clean, happy days. Um, locks and latches, okay? Simple stuff, make sure that your door locks, your window locks, your latches, they're all, you know, robust, they all work, um, nothing's sticking, nothing's, um, you know, flimsy, it might be worthwhile raiding your locks, you know, um, again, we haven't got to spend lots of money doing that, but maybe, you know, consider adding additional locks may help, okay, and additional locks on outbuildings, make sure your outbuildings are secured, make sure that um, things like gates, sheds, garages they're all okay and uh, while we're on gates fences 
and fences that uh, are full of holes or falling down aren't going to prove to be ideal for security. So making sure that they're repaired, uh, maybe just even patched up just for now will help. Okay, You might want to consider getting better fences, taller fences, Bear in mind there are bylaws you know, in the UK as I'm sure in the rest of the world as well whereby you can't have exactly what you want. You might want a seven foot high fence on the front garden but you probably find that you're not allowed to because of some bylaws saying you have to have an open aspect. So bear that in mind because you know, best case scenario, council has to or come along and tell you to take it down. Worst case scenario, um, your calls may be panic. Um, you may stick out like a sore thumb and you might inadvertently make you, yourself you know, more attractive. If you make the place look like Fort Knox, then you know, somebody might think, well, hang on, what have they got in there? You know, I'm going to go for that one first. So you know, it's a bit of a balancing act, OK? Um, with things on the exterior of the property, um, most of us now have um, exterior lighting, security lighting. They may be the, might be the what they call bulkhead lights, which are by your front door. Um, they might come on automatically. They might be on a timer. They might come on manually. It's worthwhile making sure that they're all serviceable, that they're clean. Um, if you have a light on a sensor, a PIR light, make sure the sensor is covering the required area. You know, they do shift somewhat, so make sure that they're working. Make sure that they're staying on for the right amount of time. Make sure that, um, you know, if you feel happier, just switch it on or put it on a timer so it's coming on, you know, at dawn and uh, dusk, you know. So you know, when it gets dark, it's coming on and in the morning it turns itself off. That might, you know, be a, a bit better. You could consider solar lights, you know, you can buy those quite cheaply, put them in the garden, you know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but of course, you know, because they're just sort of bolted into the ground, you know, they might end up just going anyway. So just things to consider, make sure that your property is visible, make sure it's well lit, especially pathways and driveways, making sure that, you know, light at the end of the day is probably one of your biggest security tools, okay? Always worth having, okay? Um, we mentioned about outbuildings. Um, make sure that um, it was mentioned on Scott's channel, Wessex Blades. He mentioned about fire extinguishers. Okay, um, it's always worthwhile having fire extinguishers. And certainly, if you're going to be doing lots of cooking in your house, maybe using stoves and that sort of thing, it's worthwhile having. I hope it doesn't come to this, but you know, if somebody maliciously attacked your house, then you need to have that sort of means. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go any further with that because I don't want this to become a scary, you know, video where people are, you know, going to start panicking again. But you know, make sure that you have the means that if your property was on fire, you can put that fire out. We'll leave it there, okay? Uh, same goes for the smoke detectors. Again, check them. Make sure that they're serviceable. Make sure that they actually work. But you know, at the end of the day, I just come back to it as I said at the uh, at the start. You know, look, at the end of the day. The likelihood of an occupied property getting attacked is right down the line, all right? But it's not outside the realms of possibilities, especially in an escalating situation, a situation that we haven't, well, really had. People are unpredictable. We as humans are unpredictable, and we are all evolving along with this. They've just announced that we might be having potential further lockdowns, curfews. Is that going to then cause more rebellion? Is that going to put more people on the streets? What happens again about this food shortage? At the end of the day, people are all grabbing for the same things. And I think maybe if we just do a bit of a preempt on home security, as well as other security, we're all going to be in a better place to you know keep the bad guys out, all right? So um, remember, you can always follow me on uh, Instagram. You'll see updated content, regular content and, you know, a feed on there regarding the channel, okay? And if you have enjoyed this video, then check out these ones as well, because uh, I will be doing on the next video one about um, personal security, okay? Because although, you know, people are self-isolating, people maybe are home workers anyway, Everyone needs to go out at some point and you are at the moment allowed to go out, okay? So I'm going to do a video about personal security, okay? As always, um, please like, share and subscribe at the bottom. And of course, any comments, love to hear them, alright? Thank you very much for watching and until next time, bye for now.